A diner usually packed with hungry customers instead lies in ruins this morning after an overnight fire. Eyewitness News reporter Anya Whitehead investigates why the closest fire department wasn't even able to answer the call. Firefighters were called to the Flamingo Diner Monday night around 10 p.m. When they arrived, the structure was fully engulfed. There was smoke and fire pushing already. It was, it was well involved by the time we got here. There was us, Kingston, Plymouth Borough, Edwardsville, Hanover Township. Crews from multiple townships were called to the scene, but one fire crew was missing. Plymouth Township Fire Rescue is less than a mile from the Flamingo Diner, but recently they were decommissioned and were unable to go to that fire. They sent us an email stating their concerns. The statement said in part, four fire vehicles were forced to remain at the station and their firefighters made to stand idly by while a local diner burnt. Local properties and residents put in danger and nearby townships were forced to send their firefighters while leaving their townships dangerously exposed. Even with the Plymouth Township Fire Rescue decommissioned from financial woes, other crews got to the fire and knocked it down quickly and were able to keep it from spreading to other buildings nearby. It, it probably took a half hour of heavy hitting and then another, I was pretty happy 45 minutes into it, we were pretty much chasing it by then. Plenty of water, plenty of manpower, you know, thankfully all the departments have come out to help us. People who used to come to the diner were saddened by the loss and came to see the damage. The people were fun and the food was good. So I'm hoping they rebuild it. That's what I'm wondering. Oh my gosh, it, we used to stop here when I go hunting with my dad, grab breakfast and go out hunting. So it was always a good time. Uh, a little bit hurt, you know. Like I said, again, just the people that own it and everything like that, I feel sorry for them. I'm just glad nobody got hurt. In Plymouth Township, Anya Whitehead, Eyewitness News. It's still unclear at this time what caused the fire, but the state police fire marshal is expected to be on scene investigating today.